So Minecraft 1.19.4 just came out and I have good news for you because watch this, if I press just one button, everything changes and now we have shaders, guys. This is in Minecraft 1.19.4. As you can see, if I back out down here, it says 1.19.4. And I'm about to show you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.19.4. Let's get started. So the first step in order to install the shaders is to actually click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install shaders for Minecraft, not just 1.19.4, but any version. In this case, we're going to be using Iris because Iris is the only uh, shader loader that is actually updated for 1.19.4. So once you're here, feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots. But the main thing in here is to click where it says download Iris here. So just scroll down until you see that button. Go ahead and click on that. And that is going to redirect you to the Iris official website where you're going to click download now. Once you click in there, you're going to be presented with this little button right here that says download universal jar. And of course, you're going to click download. Now with the update of Chrome, the file is going to probably download and it's going to show up here in the top right of Chrome, right? Because that's a new update. But if it doesn't, just find it in your downloads folder and go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and drag my installer for Iris into my desktop. We could go ahead and kind of try and install Iris and that is probably going to work for most of you. But before I install Iris, I do want to get shaders first. I want to get some shaders so I could try them out. So I'm going to end up getting the BSL shaders you can get whatever shaders you want, but if you want to follow along, BSL shaders is going to be the third link in the description. So go ahead and click on that uh, link and then you can look at the screenshot, read through the guide and everything. But the main thing in here is to click where it says download BSL shaders. So go ahead and click in that button and that is going to redirect you to the CurseForge website for BSL. Now, once you're over here, go ahead and click where it says files. And once you click on the files, go ahead and scroll down until you find the version that you're looking for now sadly there is no bsl shaders still for 1.19.4 however 1.19.3 does work with 1.19.4 so we could download the older version and if when you come here you already see 1.19.4 obviously download that one but in here we're going to download 1.19.3 just click on download file right here and that is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds the download will start automatically for BSL shaders. Now, like I said, Chrome has recently gotten updated. Also, you shouldn't get this little screen right here, right? You should just download it straight away to your downloads folder. For me, it's always going to ask me because that's how I have it set up. But for you, it's just going to download. And like I said, it's going to show on the top right. It used to show on the bottom left. So if you haven't updated Chrome, you might see it here on the bottom left. Anyways, wherever you have this file, even if you have it in your downloads folder, just go ahead and find it and then drag and drop it into your desktop. Now, we have iris the installer and we also have bsl shaders okay so now that we have iris and we have bsl shaders or whatever shaders of your preference it's time to install it but before you do i want you to check your java version and no i'm not talking about minecraft java i'm talking about java the actual software that lets you run minecraft in your computer the reason being is because any Minecraft above 1.16.4 will require you to have Java 17 or higher in order to install any mods. And yes, Iris is a mod. So let's go ahead and check what Java we have. In order to check what Java you're running on your computer, just go ahead and click where it says type here to search, type out of remote programs, go ahead and open that up. And in here, you're going to click where it says search this list and you're going to type Java. And as you can see, I have Java 17. So that means that my Java is updated. The reason you need to check this and the reason you need to know what Java you have is because if you have any issues trying to install the shaders, trying to install Iris, that is because you have an outdated Java. Most of the time, that will be because you have an outdated Java. Anyways, if you do have an outdated Java, in order to update it, don't worry, I have a guide for you here. Let me go ahead and close these tabs. And the guide is right here. I'm going to leave those links in the description. And also I have plenty of videos on how to download and update your Java. Anyways, here you have a screenshot. So you can look at everything and follow along. It's not that hard. It's just really downloading something and installing it. And then I also have a link for a jar fix in case you install Java and it's still not working the installer for Iris. But I assume that most of you will be able to follow along and install Iris. However, if you have any issues installing Iris, I will leave those links in the description for you to update your Java. If you have Java 7 or Java 8 and it's giving you issues, well, most likely you need to update your Java. Anyways, let's go ahead and install Iris now, but not before you make sure that you open Minecraft 1.19.4 at least once on your computer. You need to run Minecraft just vanilla at least once in order to create an installation folder. So just open your launcher, select the newest release and click play once. So as you can see, I went ahead and launched my Minecraft 1.19.4 and now I'm just going to click quit game and that's it. Now you're ready to install Iris. Just go ahead and double click on Iris and that is going to open the installer for you. Just give it a second. And as you can see, it says select game version and it already says 1.19.4. I am very surprised how fast 
Iris is always updating their shaders. As soon as some new Minecraft comes out, they update right away. So anyways, once you open that, go ahead and do not change anything and just click install. You should have 1.19.4 selected automatically. If you're watching this in the future and 1.19.4 is not there, just go ahead and find it in here. Go ahead and click install. And while Iris Shaders installs, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, well, Apex Hosting is right here for you. And look, I have been using Apex Hosting for around two years now for my Bedrock server. And something that Apex Hosting has that is really amazing, besides obviously 24-7 support, Java and Bedrock compatibility, and a bunch of other things is that you could actually access the server console through your phone, which I find really useful when I'm away from home. I could actually just go through my phone, access the server console, change the settings, do everything that I would do for my computer. And also, if you use the first link in the description to create your first server with Apex Hosting, you'll get 25% off. So if you want 25% off, first link in the description, create your first server with Apex Hosting and let me know how it goes. Now let's keep going with the tutorial. And that is going to start the installation. And as you can see, it's quite fast actually. As you can see, it says completed. You could go, go ahead and click on that again if you didn't install or you could just go ahead and close that and now you could delete the installer. Now, in order to check if we installed Iris properly, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. It's taking longer than usual to load. I don't know why the launcher is taking a little bit longer now. Anyways, just let it load. And once it loads, you should see Iris and Sodium for 1.19.4 automatically selected here on the bottom left. If that's not the case for you, just click on installations. Go ahead and make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, if you don't have modded selected, none of the modded Minecraft will show. And that, of course, includes Iris and Sodium for 1.19.4. If that didn't do it for you, don't worry. Just click on new installation. You can name this something like Iris 1.19.4, just so you don't get confused. Let me go ahead and add the numbers. And you could go ahead and find Iris down here where it says version. Just scroll down until you find your Iris loader for 1.19.4. As you can see, for me, it's actually the third one. As you can see, it says 1.19.4 release Iris fabric loader. You could go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to click create on the bottom right. Let me show you the bottom right because I'm covering it. There you go. Just click create. That is another way you could fix Iris not showing on the launcher. Anyways, for most of you, Iris is going to show here when you click on the launcher. And then you're going to go to installations and you're going to find the Iris and Sodium and you're going to click on this little folder. This is just so we could add the shaders into the game, the shaders that we downloaded earlier. Once you're over here in this folder, go ahead and find another folder called Shader Packs. You should have it right here. If you do not have Shader Packs, if that folder doesn't show up, like as you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Let's say that you came over here and you didn't have Shader Packs. Just right click, click New, select Folder and you can name that Shader Packs yourself. There you go. Shader Packs has come up. Go ahead and open that folder and of course we're going to drag and drop bsl shaders into here and now i'm going to go ahead and open the game and as you can see minecraft 1.19.4 with iris has opened and the way you could check that you have iris running is as you can see down here it says 1.19.4 slash fabric modded that way we know that we opened the right one so go ahead and click where it says options and then go to where it says video settings and as you can see the whole menu has changing here if you want to add the shader packs just click where it says shader packs it's pretty straightforward and click on the shaders that you want to add I do have to let you know that you have to enable the shaders because if you don't have shaders enabled, even if you apply them and let's say that this was disabled, they won't show in the game. That has happened to me in the past with older versions. So anyways, once you select the shaders that you want, in this case, we're using BSL, go ahead and click where it says apply and then just let that load. It might take like five minutes for some of you. It might take five seconds for me. It's quite fast. As you can see, it's already applied. If it goes yellow, that means that it's already loaded. And we're going to go ahead and launch a world just so you guys could see the shaders running. As you can see, I'm flying right now and I'm on creative mode because I'm going to try and find a nice place to take a photo for the thumbnail of this video. But as you can see, BSLs is working. Iris is working. Like I said, you don't have to add BSL. You could add any shaders that you want. Now, something else that is really cool with Iris is that if you press K within the game, the shaders disable. So as you can see, oops, as you can see, if you just press K, right, you have your normal shaders. And this is actually what I do when I'm playing. I'm just playing with without shaders. And then I build something that I like and I want to see with shaders. I just press K and then the shaders load. As you can see, there you go. We have shaders instantly load if you press K, remember K. And also if you press O, you can see that you can go straight to your shader packs option. So that's with O. O open the shaders options and K kind of uh, enables them and disables them, as you can see. And that is it for today's, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it useful, please let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like. And as always, bye bye.